Now 6.3 is just simply the applied division rule. And it becomes PNR, which is equal to N factorial over N minus R factorial, and CNR, which is equal to N factorial over R factorial, N minus R factorial. This is called the permutation function. And this is called the combination function. But permutations and combinations are just simply the division rule. That's all they are. Because if I use words like under this idea of where did this come from, if I have, for example, I have six people, and of those six, four are guys, and two are girls, what are all arrangements? Well, how many ways to arrange six people? It's six factorial. But these six are actually just simply two groups. And if I rearrange the guys, and I don't assume that they're unique in any particular way, it's just guys, all right, how many ways can you arrange the guys? There's four factorial. And how many ways can you arrange the girls? Two factorial. This problem is the same thing that happens if I say I have six objects and you choose four. If I say you have six objects and you choose four, what you just did was break these six objects into two groups, those you chose and those you didn't choose. So really what happens is what we said is we have six objects are actually four that are chosen, two that are not chosen. So if you have six and you're going to choose four, the formula says it's six factorial divided by four factorial, two factorial. Is that just the division rule? The choose function is just the division rule. It just simply says, hey, look, if you choose, there's n factorial ways to arrange all n. But those n are actually two groups, the r that you chose and the n minus r who's left over that you did not choose. And so it's just the division rule. But since we use it over and over and over and over again, we write it as its own function. Now, the choose function isn't sometimes always written as the c. It's also sometimes written as this elongated C parenthesis on one side and elongated C parenthesis flipped on the other side. That's a different notation for it. Which one have you seen more often? Have you seen, like most calculators, I think they use the C and some calculators use this. But all it is is choosing. On the other hand, what about uh, the permutation function? What if I had six people and we have three, we're going to have first place, we'll have second place, we'll have third place, we'll have fourth place. If I have first place, second place, third place, fourth place, and these actually have awards, what are, if these are actual ribbons, what happens to the fifth and sixth place? And so we have two losers. Now, the division rule says what? How many arrangements are there? Well, there's six factorial ways for them to finish the race. How many first place? How many exist in first place? One. How many exist in second place? 
One. How many exist in third place? One. How many exists in fourth place? One. How many losers are there? I wrote one. I have no idea why I wrote four. How many losers are there? There's two. What's the arrangement of the losers, though? Two factorial. All those ones are meaningless. This is actually six factorial over two factorial. How is this the permutation or the pick function? If I say six people and I pick four winners with order, right? I'm, that means I'm picking first, second, third, fourth place. Then P6 comma 4 represents what? 6 factorial goes up in top because that's the total number of arrangements. But what goes in the bottom? 2 factorial. Why? If I pick 4, they matter. Losers, I don't care about the arrangement. And so what goes on the bottom? The N minus R or the 2 factorial. So the pick function is still the division rule, but it happens all the time. So really, the difference between these two is, are you selecting objects from a set where order matters, first, second, third place? If you do that, all you have to divide by is the people that you do not pick. If you choose, what happens is, yes, you choose four, but I don't. the order of the four people doesn't matter, so I have to divide that out. And so that's the choose function. Both of these are just simply the division rule. Next class, we'll have lots of examples of things like this. You have 15 people, 10 guys, 5 are girls. How many ways can you choose a team to play softball if at least three of them need to be girls? You know, things of that nature. A lot of people are asking why. Well, a lot of these problems get down to the question of probability. Because what is applications of prob what is probability? The number of events that you're interested in divided by the number of every possible event that would ever exist. So that's the probability. All right, that's it.